Hey guys, this is MacBook Gaming, and today I wanted to unbox uh, Samsung Portable SSD T7 Shield. So this is an external uh, hard drive um, because our MacBook Pro with the M3 chip, with all the games, especially the newer games, they're just a little bit too heavy on the storage. So we got an external SSD, and this one has read and write of one gig per second and one terabyte so I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys so we got our knife and we're gonna go ahead and open this alrighty it's really nice packaging here and open this up so we have this box and now we have this box so just remove that latch on the side and there you go so inside is this SSD card and it has that rubber feel to it and it says T7 Shield here it says Samsung right there very very nice and inside of that we have a little bit more and to access that you actually will have to go down here There's a little latch in the bottom and then just pull that out and then It comes with a uh, instruction right here, and this one is a USB-C to USB-C, and it's really high quality. It has that rubber finish, and it's just not very long, obviously. And this one is a USB-C to USB-A. Perfect. So I'm gonna just use the USB-C, um, as you all are aware. MacBooks have USB C's and there you go. So, this is about how wide it is. And I'm just gonna plug this in here and I'll show you guys how to set it up because um, you have to set it up to be compatible with uh, Apple and we might have to like erase. Um, this and, and reinstall it to be capable to be used in a MacBook so now we're gonna head over to the MacBook and then I'll show you guys how to do that but that's the unboxing and I'm gonna head and plug it in all right guys now so now we're in the MacBook and I'm using the webcam of the map MacBook for this video, the rest of this video, but uh, we went ahead and plugged in the external SSI, SSD, this T7 Shield. So we just clicked in here and I actually downloaded this setup for Mac and it downloaded Samsung Portable <laughs> and it's de definitely attached, but it's not recognizing it here. And I tried to do, do like an update and it wasn't working and it made me have to like restart my MacBook. So I lost um, the video of me plugging it in and stuff. But anyways, now that we have here, this T7 shield, what we want, want to do then is open a new finder and start moving our games, right? So let's just make one named games and inside the games folder, we want to do the applications, so we're going to move Valheim, which is 4.5 gigs, and it's going to take less than a minute, so it's really fast transferring data like that. Perfect. Yeah, that's like nothing. Zero to nothing time. Five more seconds, and that was 4.5 gigs worth of data right there. So now we can actually just delete this trash. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's deleted from our applications here, and we can still run the game from the external SSID. So before it opens it, it still has the checks, everything, the MacBook, make sure it's a verified application. And this is running completely from our um, external SSID, which is the T7 Samsung. So that's exactly what we wanted to see. But right now we're not here to play a game. We're gonna move Ticket to Ride. So that one has 50 megs. Perfect. About a minute. Perfect. And there you go. This is kind of going to be my process on how I'm going to be able to um, make more videos without using too much of my storage. So I'm glad I have it. Um, I got this one on sale for about $90. Um, I'm gonna just show you guys. So uh, Arc, let's open Arc, which is my default web browser, amazon.com, your orders. And right here. So when I purchased it, it was like $90, um, but here it's 99, but it's on, um, it's listed normally for 170 and it does come with a couple colors, but I just went with blue because it was less expensive <laughs> at the time. It was $90. So with taxes, I think it was like 93. Yeah, 96. So with taxes, it was like 96. Perfect. I'm just going to quit ARC. And yeah, there you go. So Ticket to Ride is here um, in my applications. I can just go ahead and remove this. It's just big files for these games. And I did get a, another application which is a read and write test. It's black magic speed test. So this is um, the speed test to my MacBook SSD, which is four gigs. And then read is about 5,000. So read is five gi four gigs. Wait, read is five gigs, write is four gigs. And let's see. Select the drive. Open. So now it's gonna do the disk speed test here. So it is about one gig, which is what they advertise. One gig of read and write. perfect so definitely definitely really good I'm, I'm happy with it absolutely so perfect thank you black magic design for this free application and yeah um, let's see steam I'm just gonna try to see right if I can like download let's see uh, install manage storage I need to figure out how to download it this computer install okay I'm gonna have to figure that out but I will figure it out off the screen and then I'll teach you guys. All right guys, I finally got it together. So here, what you have to do to get it to 
talk to your external drive is you have to go to uh, preference um, under Steam preference and then you have to go to storage so in this drop down you just have to add the drive and you have to give it permissions and then just find your drive which I added it here so then when you hit install it gives you the option to install it into this T7 shield there you go so it'll start downloading that straight to your T7 shield and that tells you right there how much and then there you go so now you have the steam library um steam applications downloading things like that and then this will be just my games from like the app store and then anything in my steam will be in this steam library folder once it's um all done and then this I'm just going to put downloads, downloads, yeah. So now it's all clear and clean. We got our T7 now, which has an external hard drive or SSD, solid state drive. And it has one gig, so I don't have to rely on that anymore to play games. And then I can let this download and everything and everything works out and just for my curiosity um while running this um recording and downloading and plugging in the external ssa ssd it's taking about 36 watts worth of battery so this it's to, just to give you that idea it's using up more of your a battery on your macbook when you have that plugged in obviously but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys like this video um this is how to just unboxing of the t7 samsung ssd and setting it up to where it'll um be working with my macbook so i didn't have to do anything that's just plug and play i hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you